the idea of faith in my family and in the community that I grew up in that had to do with living a life of integrity and trying to live out what you believe. I think one of the reasons that I fit really well for that congregation for those initial years was that I was extremely biblically focused, which really appealed to the evangelicals. At the same time, I was pretty liberal in my thinking, which appealed to the folks who were more on the liberal side of things. And I think that that kind of spoke to that particular community, which had that diversity within it. We both had a real passion for spirituality and integrating spirituality and sexuality, and particularly gay male sexuality and spirituality. So even from the very beginning, we were not that interested in the apologetic movement. Not going to go over those clobber texts. We're going to take what's the lectionary passages for that day and interpret them from a gay perspective. <laughs> The story speaks to our story in so many ways, um, which seemed to be kind of a whole new concept for people, I guess. <laughs> We've always kind of seen it as not trying to explain or, but, but really to see where, where sexuality and spirituality integrate for gay people. One of the issues we thought was aging in the gay community and how do we honor our elders. And so we said, we're going to do a ritual and we'll have a ritual in which, you know, we, we honor our elders as sages. We were interested in saying that just to have survived was really something worth honoring. gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, spirituality, the whole idea of sexuality that is not necessarily within specific boundaries and that identity could either be fluid or it can be, um, it's like it's not easily categorized kind of thing. It's something that the church as a whole needs to learn. <laughs>